hey nail sisters welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to do this french nail design uh if you're someone who's been struggling with this design or you feel like just doing the simple u shape is not enough then look no further after watching this video you'll be able to master drawing this french nail design here i'm going to show you what you will need so you will either need a long or medium liner brush depending on how long the nails are I really like these McCart. Um, I'm going to be using the McCart number one. I really like these because they have a lot of control. Uh, I would definitely say use a longer liner brush to get better lines. You also will need a cleanup brush to clean up your French lines. And what I'll be using to clean up is alcohol. So... So to start this design, you want to already kind of know how long are your nails? Um, are they short, long, medium length? And mine's are probably, I would say, on the um, longer or medium length. Um, if they are a little bit longer than this, then the lines will actually go up a lot higher. So um, that will actually help you to determine where you need to actually... I'm going to put a straight line coming down the center. You always want to kind of draw a visual straight line down the center of your 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 head. So I'm going to visually look to see where that line is. And it is down the center. So here I'm going to put my point my first point down the center so there I'm putting my first point so the next point that you're gonna uh, do is you're going to go across or I could have started it by going across first. You kind of want to know even this area, like how far do you want it to go up here? Do you want it to be here or here? It just depends on how far you want each part to be. Um, so here I'm going to go, I think I want my line to kind of be a little bit down. Um, so I'm going to draw a straight line going across just like that and I'm gonna make sure that both of my sides are kind of equal and when you actually do this make sure that your line looks straight to you um, you can always flip that hand over which is exactly what I'm gonna do and you can kind of see here that it is looking straight going across um, if your line in the middle is next, after this, you want to then go in, and what I'm going to do is here you want to kind of look at the meat of the client's skin. Um, and kind of where the free edge of their natural nail, you know, starts, which is about here. So that's actually where I want to put my point is actually here. Because like I said, again, depends on how far you want your line to be. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to start on this side first. Um, again, the meat is here and I could, you know, put my point either down or up, but I'm going to put my point uh, marking there. So, so boom. So you can see here how their free edge comes down the natural nail. And then you want to kind of, you know, follow that right there of where their free edge is. Visualize and go across here. This one is not going to go in the, like directly, you know, where the meat on this side is, um, you know, because the, you know, the free, free edge is here. You kind of want to go a little bit slightly up 
more so on this one. So I'm going to come slightly, probably not there, but just a tad bit up, but not too far up. You can kind of see it there already. Um, so again, I'm going to come probably right about somewhere right there. And then I'm going to put my point there. Okay, so here, um, so after that, so you can see here, it lined up with the last one. So now we're going to take our thing and go down this point. So again, you want to go from here to here, and you can kind of already visualize it. And then we're going to do the same thing here, come down. But I think this side is kind of a little bit... Um, more down but you will actually start seeing so let me actually show you guys so I'm gonna go from this side so and I know my nails look crazy in this video um so don't come for me in my comment section I'm gel filming mistakes. another video about common gel mm -hmm. mistakes and you actually want to keep the finger a little straighter than what I did so when you're doing it, you actually want to keep it a little straight. Um, because if not, you can kind of see if you turn that finger, see how it's already curving. So when you're doing it, you kind of can come more straight down. See how I have to fix that area there? So boom. And then the next side, we want to do... I like to make sure everything looks straight before I go in with my polish because if not, then you will struggle after when you put your polish to get the lines even on both sides. Okay, so now at this point, I have my lines. This is how they're looking. So now you want to come about this area here, come down, and then we're going to come on this side. And again, you want both of these to line up. So we're gonna take, we're gonna come about this area here. And you kinda wanna start curving your brush to go up, see? So I know that looks kind of a little crooked, but what you're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that now. So you can see how I went from this area. It's almost like a, a U shape, a U curve. So you can see how that area is going. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this. You'll see how I'm gonna fix that. So because I know this point is here, then I'm gonna take that around and kind of swoop and make sure that area is straight. And then what you want to do is come about this same area. You want to look here where you put your last point, kind of go across that area so you can bring it back down this way. 
okay so that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna start here come across this area and then we're gonna come boom See how we fix that? So now that it is much straighter. And when you're doing this, you kind of want to like put a little like pressure down and kind of like it's all in the flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. Even on this side, you want to kind of like, you know, do like a, is it a comma? Kind of that method. So I'm just going to fix this right here. Kind of do it like that. Boom. See that? So now what I'm going to do is just take the hand again, flip it around, make sure that everything looks straight before I put my color. And if anything doesn't look straight, I can always go in now. And this is where you can actually, you know, fix your line. If anything doesn't look, you know, um, if anything looks crooked or anything, then now is the time to do that. But since we did a good job on that, everything looks good. It looks like it's gonna come out like it's supposed to. And now, this is how it is looking. You can turn your finger around. And at this point, now we can fill our Okay, color. so now you wanna um, fill your French lines in and here this is how much I'm picking up and then what you want to do is when you fill this in you want to kind of start here but you don't want to necessarily touch that line there we're not touching the middle line and then we're going to come down this way So here I'm just going in with my liner brush and getting a little bit closer so I can feel in those lines that don't have the polish. Um, especially if you're too scared to use the bigger brush, you can always go in with the liner brush. Just don't touch the small line. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my alcohol and I'm going to go in and kind of just clean up that little middle line and my brush is a little damp so I'm just gonna go in matter of fact I kind of like to, to take my hand and do it this way it's a lot easier I know some people that just go in with the U shape. Um, I don't like doing it that way because I end up making it look like a whole nother mm -hmm. alphabet letter. So I like to do it this way because it's a lot easier. Uh, I feel like when I first did this design, I felt like I needed to go back to math class with the whole 90 degree, 70 degree angle just to get this French <laughs> design. 
Um, you can always draw it out on paper if that helps you before actually applying it on the nail. But I, if you follow this technique, then I can guarantee you that you'll be able to do any French nail design without any issues. I would also suggest to use alcohol to clean up your smile line instead of acetone because the acetone will just eat away your design. You'll see here in a minute that I'm going to go back in and redefine my line just a little bit. And the tip of how to do this is you want to put the polish below the smile line, not on top. So that way you won't mess up where your smile line is. You guys let me know in the comments, um, do you think that this French design will go out of style? Um, I personally feel like this French design will actually never go away. I feel like it's a staple for any uh, look. I remember back in like the 90s where we used to try to use the tape to <laughs> get this design and make it look like, you know, the French lines. Um, but now, you know, French designs are just almost on any type of nail design and you can switch it up. So actually now you can do it too. So here is the final look of how this came out. And if you all found this video to be helpful in any way, make sure to like this video so I know what you all would like to see next. And see you all in my next video.